There's a great African song and dance team called Louis Montero and Ainda, and uh, you'll love them. They're very infectious. They've got this very infectious sort of catchy music. It's quite a joy. And reporter Hugh Munro is the one covering this film story, and he didn't even have to go to Africa for this. Take it away, Huey. When Shango cracked his mighty finger. This fiery dance called Shango shows the tribal African myth of the god of thunder. The female is being offered as a sacrifice to quieten his anger. Well, all this African dancing is quite a change from the disco, but all the steps are pretty much the same, aren't they? Yeah, I reckon the, the disco steps are taken from the African dance. African dance is very symbolic and makeup plays a very important role by exaggerating the facial expressions which complement the large dance movements which are so emotional. You take your show all around Australia, don't you? Yes, uh, reason being to show the Australian public the riches of the African culture and also making money out of what I really love doing. Oh, that's great. It's not all you do either. You're an artist making all these t paintings and you even make some of the instruments that you use in the band. That's right, this is one of them. As well as dancers, they're very good singers, as you'll see in this next song called Eye of the Child, which was inspired by this painting. <laughs> It's a great song. This isn't exactly an African instrument though, is it? No, no, that's where the Afro-Latin fusion comes into it. Oh, I see, so you can use more modern instruments like the electric guitar and the bass and everything like that. Yes, yes yeah. you can, putting, putting a modern sound into the, the African rhythms. And... The uh, in the dance group is aptly named because translated from the Afro-Latin word it means event or happening. The most important part of any African band is definitely the percussion section. Hey, let's jam! Here we are, up in a banana tree in the middle of Africa. You don't exactly look African, so why do you do this tribal African dancing? Because the music is so good, it makes you feel happy and want to move. And what about you? Oh, because when I hear the rhythms, I go bananas. <laughs> so if I played some rhythms, you'd, you'd go crazy, right? Yeah. Oh, great. Really are bananas. This next song is typically Afro-Latin. It originated in Africa and was taken over to South America by the slaves on the ships. The combining of the two cultures made this next song called Mambo Jambo. Mambo Jambo. 